Hey folks, what's up? This is Evan from Stock Music Musician, and I just wanted to let you know that Reason 12.6 has been released, and to me, this is a really significant patch. This is definitely more than just bug fixes or anything like that. It adds two long, long requested features. First, it will now work offline. You can pre-authorize your computer to be authorized to run Reason for months at a time without having to log on and enter your password and all of that. I'll make a separate video showing you how to do that. It's not hard at all, um, which means if you don't have an internet connection, you can still use Reason without having to worry. Uh, this has been requested for a long time. You don't need to use a little code meter stick, nothing. You can just directly access Reason. Um, second, the long-awaited Apple Silicon support is here. This computer that I'm recording it on, this video right now is an Intel Mac, but my laptop is a, uh, Apple Silicon Mac, and I loaded up some bare, some massive uh, projects into it, and they were really just humming along without any issues. So I think this is a huge, huge update. And the thing that I'm really glad about with this is that it basically means that all of the tough technical coding that they needed to do for Reason 12 has now been done. Theoretically, a lot of their technical debt for just technology underlying, uh, you know, modernizing reason has been done, which now will hopefully free them moving forward to pivot into a much more exciting, innovative, uh, more interesting instruments, more inst interesting, you know, uh, interface changes, maybe streamlining the UI or the sequencer or something. 12.6 has added remote support for a myriad of new controls. You've got Arturias, several of their most popular keyboards, the Native Instruments Complete Controls, Innovation Impulse, um, and also have updated the remote mapping for a lot of controllers, also some bug fixes. So all in all, I think this is a great update. This to me is kind of like they shipped Reason 12 way too early. To me, this should have been like 12.1. These are really nice quality of life changes. When they released Reason 12, you know, there weren't that many Apple Silicon computers out there. Um, so that's why this feels a little late to be shipping Apple Silicon right now, and they're one of the last companies to do it, but they've done it, uh, and hopefully now we can just pivot and move forward. Unfortunately for those of you that aren't running Reason 12, I don't believe that Reason, uh, that this Apple Silicon support is going to be backwards compatible. I don't believe offline mode is going to be compatible with Reason 11, so you pretty much need to get on board and get Reason 12 or Reason Plus if you want to access these features, unfortunately. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.